Ori, Ori ni gbogbo nkan. Everything in life has to do with Ori. Everything in life is Ori. What is Ori? Ori is Orisha. We can say Ori is Ori is part of the primordial Orisha. Ori means destiny predestination, origin, the source of everything in life. Everything in this life has its own destiny, that is, its own predestination, its purpose of being. Everything that exists in this life, in this planet, has a reason to be. And it's really fascinating to study the concept of Ori. Ori, Eleda are the same. But I will give a, a short, small definition about Ori in my own personal concept that some people may not agree with me, but this is my own concept. And I studied this subject of Ori for many years. Ori can be considered, I consider Ori, as our self God. It is Ori that makes everything be how it is. It is the Ori of Ifa that makes Ifa the God of divination. It is the Ori of Obatala that make Obatala the god of creativity, peace, and harmony. It is the Ori of Ogun that make Ogun the god of, of efforts, of struggle, of working, of agriculture, of productivity. Is the Ori of Oshun that make her the goddess of love, of fertility, the garden of the children. It is so that in Yoruba philosophy, when we do offering, we also refer to the Ori of the space, Onilei, the origin of this space, the influence of Ori can be noticed in each one of us. So we can say that Ori is the principle of our genetics. I call Ori our emotional, mental DNA. Right from the primordial time, the Yoruba civilization always always explain to us that we are all genetically similar but different. This is why we say Ika Udogba. All the fingers are not the same. Everyone in this planet, we are unique. We are not the same. So, Ori can be or should be the gateway to understand the concept of genetics in Yoruba philosophy. It is your Ori that will make you whom you become in your life. To understand the messages of your Ori is one thing. To materialize what are in your predestination is another thing. Because there is nothing that happens in life without the intervention of human beings. We need to contribute to the materializations of what are in our predestination. And this is why we consult Ifa, either uh, Ifa Onumila or Eni Dilogun, 
or any other form of divination, to know and to understand our predestination, our destinies. What, for what we are born in this life. In Yoruba tradition, for whatever you want to do that is important in your life, you go for divination to know if this is compatible with your re, if this is part of your re, if it is part of your destiny. This is why we say, Kama fiori we ori, don't compare one ori with the other. Don't compare one genetics with the other because each ori is unique. Ori is the source, is the essence, it is, it is the file where all the informations about whom we are are compiled. Mythologically, some sayings says that we choose our destiny. Some says that our destiny was imposed to us. Either we choose or was imposed to us. One thing I know, the divination is capable to answer our questions regarding our destiny. To know what are compatible with our life existence. How can someone become successful in life? Understanding your Uri. We are taught in Yoruba philosophy not to imitate someone because everyone has his own Uri. Everyone, everyone has his own time. Everyone will, has his, will have his own opportunity. And everyone possesses his own capacity. I know that it is very common for people to develop their inspirations in life based on what they see about someone's life. This is very common in sports. Everyone wants to become famous as someone whom he or she knows. Ori is the Orisha that we worship so that we can synchronize our thoughts, our capacities, our needs, our efforts with our destiny. Ori comes in into the concept of Omoluabi. The concept of Omoluabi is, is the concept that says that uh, Omoluabi is a nice person. Um, Omoluabi is someone that will be celebrated in the society. Omoluabi means good characters. Our characters, our temperament has to do with our Ori. Our personalities has to do with our Ori. But the question is, can we change someone's Ori? Destiny. No, we cannot change destiny. Example in Ifa, what does Ifa say? Onumila, atun Ori enitiko sunwanshe. Onumila, Ifa, the God of wisdom that supports to improve a bad destiny. Orumila will not change the destiny, but it gives us the asher to improve our destiny. It's not to change the destiny. It is to improve the destiny. When a destiny, when Ori is improved, you get rid of bad things. Because all the bad and good things in life, they are part of our life. We cannot do without. Because at times I come across of people that create false expectation that, ah, I will do a ball, then I get rid of all my problems. No. We work upon our problems, challenges, difficulties daily. It's one day after the other. So what we need to understand is that Ori can be improved. 
And this has to be our major target in life. How to improve my Ori? We are born already. We, we have uh, our destiny already established. What we need is to improve what can be improved and neutralize what can be neutralized and explore the good parts of our lives. To neutralize, to explore, we depends on our characters. There's one who do in the fact that says, I differ from Lori, Riti, or Nessie, or no. Okay, someone possesses good Ori, but doesn't have a good character. Someone can be born to have a wonderful destiny, but if the person will not have the necessary character to facilitate the materialization of this destiny, then it is nothing. Ori and the Wa, the moves in parallel. This is why we say, Iwariri le niyon. Good character, good characters are the beauties of a human being. Iwa is the most valuable Ewa in Yoruba philosophy. Iwa, character. Ewa, beauty. So, our Iwa is what will make our Ori gives us the good support with which we are born. When we do a ball, a ball clean and clear our lives. It gives us the support to get rid of some negativities. And when we go for divination, we, we receive so many wonderful orientations that can be a guideline in our lives. When we are born, when a child is born, we have the ritual of Akosejaye, or from Ifa initiation or from Orisha initiation, where you can receive the taboos, either food taboo, or taboos of characters, which by avoiding such taboo, you will manage to have a better life. It is easy someone has a taboo not to eat corn. It is more, it is more difficult to have a taboo not to lie, okay? Because our characters will redefine our lives. And character is something we can improve. And when we improve our characters, we support the goodness in our Ori to manifest so that we can have a better destiny. In this concept, we can say we have in the concept of predestination of destiny, Ori Ire and Ori Buruku. Ori Ire is the Ori of fortune, Ori of wealth of richness of realize good realizations in life oriburuku is the bad luck for me the two of them moves in parallel they are side by side they are neighbors orire establish when someone managed to neutralize oriburuku oriburuku is a consequence of bad luck and bad characters. Bad luck you neutralize with a ball. Bad characters you neutralize by adopting some principles in life. That means that uh, Oriburuku, which is, uh, I will say that uh, it was, when a Yoruba person hear Oriburuku, he fell in panic. It is the fear of everybody. It terrorizes our mind when you hear Oriburuku, Badori, or Oloriburuku, 
someone that possess a bad destiny, a bad luck, a bad life. But this bad luck, bad life, bad destiny, you can neutralize the spiritual aspects with a ball, with initiations. And the emotional aspect, you neutralize it with orientation by adopting the good characters that are expectable in the society. So by this, Ori human destiny can be improved through a ball, initiations, offerings, that we clean the spiritual problems or difficulties or cause spell from our ancestors. While our characters will be the source of maintaining our good duty in life. This means that uh, to achieve good things in life, we need to have good characters, good duty. This is why we have the devotion to our Uri. We, when we sing a Sheshe song, Kila Baboka in Toborisha, Isheshe, La Baboka in Toborisha, Uri Nisheshe, Edani Sheshe, to which energy we should be devoted in the first place. Isheshe, Isheshe means the primordial energies. To those energies, we have to be devoted all together. But Uri is Isheshe. Uri is the primordial energy to whom we have to be devoted. Eda or Eleda, there are also another names of Uri. So for me, I see the subject of Uri as a technical aspect of woman's victory. We dream to be successful. We dream to achieve some goals. We dream to, to be well placed in our society. But with that woman's effort, this is not possible. Someone can be born with a talent. It is the glory of his ori. Someone can be born extremely creative. It is the glory of his ori. Someone can be born to be exceptionally intelligent. It is the glory of that ori. The point is not only with what we are born, but what we are going to do with what we are born. So many people are untapped talents. They are genius, but they never use what they have. That is, they never explore the potencies of their ori. So the subject and the concept of ori is to awake in, in us our inner potencies and to call our attention to our emotional situation that we determine our place in this universe, where we want to be. This is why Orire and Iwarire moves together. Orire is the good destiny, is the good luck, and the worry uh, is the good character. Without good characters, no good destiny. Ori is the provider of all goodness in life. Look at this song. Ori mi o jowo shere fun mi, eda mi o jowo shere fun mi. Ori mi o jowo shere fun mi, eleda mi o jowo shere fun mi. Ori oka ni shanu oka, ori ere ni shanu ere. Irawe igbo ni shanu igbo, irawe odon ni shanu odon. Eleda mi o jowo shere fun mi, 
Mayori, my Eleda, that is my inner God, provide for me the most beautiful destiny. Provide for me the most well-blessed destiny. Provide for me the best destiny that may exist in this planet. That is all the good things I dream from my life. The potencies to materialize all this will come from me. And for this inner God called Ori or Eleda to give the support, we have different approach. Like petting our Ori, Ori me, Ori Ire, Ori Ola, Ori Owo, Ori Yi. My Ori, my destiny, the destiny to be honored, the destiny to bring prosperity, the destiny to bring longevity, the destiny to bring and provide for me all good things in life. Ori is so deeply important in Yoruba philosophy that uh, whenever we talk about Orisha, we have to take into consideration the approach of Ori because Ori is the throne for the Orishas. In any Orisha initiations, the first thing we do after our issue is to appeal for the Ori to, as, it, as the throne to accept this initiation in human's life. So all our devotions lead to, to the exploration, let us also say this way, uh, to the better use, uses of our destiny. And how can we define the destiny or predestination? Talent, good luck, bad luck, good characters, bad characters, good temperament, bad temperament, missions in life. Orisha Ori has to be considered as an independent Orisha because our Ori is the Orisha, was the Orisha that was, that choose or receive all our missions in life. This is why we have the ritual of Ori Bibo, the devotion to Ori, whereby we have uh, the ritual to make an offering for the Ori. It is so that uh, when we have devotion for Ori, uh, we say Ori Ure Mufai Mora, Mufai Mora Ori Ure, Ori Buruku Susong. That is the good destiny, the good Ori, the good predestination. I hug you, I embrace you, I bring you to my intimacy. For the bad Ori, the bad destiny to go away from this person's life to whom we are doing the Ibori ritual. And to finalize, I've said that Ori is Orisha. It is. Orisha that is in the life of everybody because it is venerable. We worship Ori. And what is interesting or what is most fascinating is that the ritual of Ibori to do offering for Ori doesn't make you Orisha religious follower. We can do Bori without any spiritual promise with anybody, with anything but with your life. That is, you venerate your inner God, your inner vital energies that are responsible for your survivalness, biologically, materially, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. You are your Ori. That is, your devotion to Ori is to, to materialize all the good things you have inside you and to get rid of all the negative things 
that may disturb you to have the best of your life, of your existence. <laughs>